Hi, Purpose Partner. Welcome to another episode of Rise to Your Purpose, a personal and spiritual development podcast for female entrepreneurs with a mission. We are your hosts, Brandy and Natalie. We are founders of Victorious Entrepreneurs Rising, where we guide women to build profitable businesses online through diversifying your income, using kingdom principles in marketing, and operating in a spirit of rest so that you can create kingdom impact. After this episode, be sure to join our Purpose Partner Facebook community and get your copy of our Rise to Your Purpose devotional so we can continue to serve you as we partner together in our faith and business. Let's dive into today's episode. Hey, you guys, I just have felt like Holy Spirit has been just sharing downloads with me and then I'm seeing it like a similar message that even other women are sharing right now too, where I really believe that like God is calling us as women to rise up and really be bold in our businesses and what we're doing. And so I want to talk to you for the next few minutes about building your business unashamed. And I just got like lots of downloads while I was in the shower. Anybody else, you take a shower and you feel like Holy Spirit just dropped so much to you. And you're like, man, I wish I could go live right now. So I do have some notes and things that I just wanted to share with you today, but with the ultimate purpose of really wanting to speak into you and to help you to develop and to that strength and that dignity and to walk in your calling, pursue those God sized dreams and really have that Christ like boldness in your business and not allow yourself to build ashamed, but instead let's build this business unashamed because it is a gift we have. And as kingdom driven women, as Christian women in the marketplace, we have the responsibility and the opportunity to really have a kingdom impact and to really grow this marketplace ministry. So I'm talking to you women who are leaders, who know you're called to lead, who have a passion for leadership. You know, you want to continue rising as a leader or develop those skills to be a leader. Like that's just, it's in your heart. It's part of who you are. And you want to ultimately create kingdom impact, impact others, bring value, serve over sell. Like that's who you are at your core. And so I'm also though speaking to those of you that you are that person, but you have been holding back. Stop holding back. If you feel like you've been there. I know I have. I have definitely been in that position where I've held back, where I've been ashamed of things, or I've been, I had those like limiting beliefs that have allowed me to kind of stay stuck or stagnant or not really, you know, I'm kind of doing the motions going through and doing the things, but I'm not actually being as bold or really rising as a leader. I look like I knew I should. And I spent too long in that space. And so that's why I want to speak to you to help you one, if you're there to get out of there. But those of you who know, it's like you have a stirring in your heart right now. And you're like, I'm ready to really build a business, a thriving, profitable business online. I know I want to do this in partnership with God. And I'm ready to just like blaze the trail. Like this is going to be a, a great Facebook live training for you. So I love Shay Bynes. How many of you know Shay Bynes? You've heard of her. She is actually the woman, one of the women who really developed, coined the phrase kingdom driven entrepreneur. That was a a Holy spirit download um, to her and a friend like 10 plus years ago. And so I love that she says a kingdom driven entrepreneur, someone who is motivated by seeing an advancement of the kingdom of God on earth and is propelled forward in business by seeking first the kingdom. So the first thing we want to do as believers, kingdom driven women in the marketplace is we want to first make sure that we are seeking him, that we are building our business in partnership with him, keeping him at the center of all that we do. And that our identity is aligned to who he says about and like what he says about us, because I know that there was a time where my identity was wrapped up in my business and like the, the ranks or the titles or what people said about me. I'm, I'm very, uh, someone who's like performance-based and so that was a, a big deal to me to have someone really affirm and confirm my abilities and who I was and have people be proud of me. I mean, from since I was a little girl, that was just kind of instilled in me. And so I had to really, though, come to terms with, okay, Lord, who do you say I am and help me to walk in that to be her, right? And so it requires us to become that woman that he has already created us to be and to believe in who he who he has called us to be. And so that's gonna both those two things right there, that belief 
of yourself and who he's called you to be and really understanding your identity around him. That's like the number one things that you'll need to do so that you can walk forward unashamed. But I want, so anything that I'm sharing with you today, it's just kind of, like I said, these highlights that the Lord's been speaking to me that I want to speak into you as well and help you to build that thriving business with God to help you make sure that you are also being led and empowered by the Holy Spirit. So we can continue building, pursuing those God's sized dreams and build a profitable business. That's really the passion that the Lord laid on our hearts, my, myself and my sister, Brandy, we are co-founders of the Rise Dear Purpose program, devotional podcast, because the Lord was saying, look, you can build your business. You can build wealth. You can be a leader, but you've got to do it with me. You've got to keep me at the center. You've got to partner with me because you can't do it alone. How many of you have tried to do things in your life, in your own strength, whether it was your life, your business, you're trying to figure it out. Well, what happens? We end up burnt out. We end up overwhelmed. We end up anxious. The anxiousness comes, right? Because we're trying to do it all and think that we have to figure it out. But Holy Spirit gives us grace upon grace. So he says, look, I've already prepared the way for you. I'm already showing you. There's so many scriptures that says, follow me. Like I will show you the way to go. You can make the plans, but I will guide and direct your steps. And so when we partner with him, right, he's going to be the one that can actually give us where we'll have the supernatural results and favor that we can't get any other way. And we're going to be able to release a lot of those things we've been holding on to so that then we're in a position to receive. I did a training a few weeks ago about being in position to prosper. And so that's what we really want to do as we're coming into this new year and, and develop into that woman, fully step into that leader and the woman you're created to be. So how many of you, first thing you want to do though, too, maybe second thing, because I've already said the first thing, but is I want you to become actually unafraid to say that you want to create wealth, drop wealth. Let's point yourselves out, drop wealth. If you're like, yes, I am meant to create wealth. I know God has said, you're going to create wealth because there was a time where I felt ashamed of that. I thought may, you know, if I'm chasing money, right. If I'm building a business to make money, that must be wrong. Like I, what are people going to think or say, right. Or you are, a, you know, been afraid to really put out and share and speak out what those dreams are that are on your heart, because you think, well, I don't want to be the person who looks like I'm have the love of money or that I'm doing things for selfish ambition. Well, here's the thing. When you are seeking God first and you are uh, getting aligned with him and you're asking him, Lord, remove anything from my heart. This is a constant daily prayer. Lord, remove anything from my heart that is not from you. That is just a, a worldly fleshly desire. Lord, let my desires be what you want for me. Uh, Lord, plant those dreams in me that you want me to pursue. And when you are praying that the Lord says, when you ask, you will receive. So he will give you that vision. He will give you those dreams and says, here, go pursue this. And so I bet you there is a good handful of you that have been called to create wealth, but there's been fears and limiting beliefs that have been holding you back, or maybe even people in your life that are holding you back. So you want to be speak that out of what those truths are. What is God calling you to be and to do be oh, and have that awareness, then develop the awareness for, okay, why am I not creating that wealth? Why am I not building that profitable business? Why am I holding back as a leader? Why am I afraid to go live and be on camera? Why am I afraid to reach out to that person or ask them to take a look at what I'm doing? Right. Because then we got to develop to, de to have that boldness and build a business on a shame, we got to then understand that and become aware of, okay, well, what are those things that are holding us back? And, you know, one of the things that the Lord shared with me was I was going through actually a lot of spiritual warfare. And sometimes it was from people who looked like, you know, seemed like they were believers too, right. Or they were Christian women. Others were people, you know, maybe I, I didn't even know. And but I was having different encounters and he told me, do not be deceived by an angel of darkness who's trying to disguise themselves as an angel of light. And that is showing that there are going to be people who might come into your life. Maybe it's random. Maybe they're just, they're actually in your life for whatever reasons, 
Um, maybe you're related, maybe they've been friends, whatever the case may be, but there might be people that are around you that are also holding you back, bringing you down, who are not believing in you, or they're questioning you. They're questioning your motives. They're questioning, well, you're just building this business to make money, or you're just only talking to me because you're, you just want to build a business. It's something that you get out of it. Right. Oh, well, you only, mm -mm, here's the thing. That's someone who is trying to right? Speak negatively into you because of their own fears and their own limitations. And you don't want someone else's fears or opinions or limitations to be a reflection of you because that's not the case. You know, your ambitions, you know, your motives, you know, the value that you bring, you know, that what you have. And so you want to go into these relationships or conversations that you're having. And when you're showing up line online, knowing that, look, I have value. You know, and I know why I'm reaching out to you. It's because I know that what I have is going to be so impactful that the women I get to share this to, I get to be a kingdom connector, that I get to connect them to something that I know is going to directly and positively impact their life and the lives of those around them, right? Do you have that conviction? Because that's what you need to have about your product or your service or whatever it is you're sharing. You need to have a conviction in your own self, your own identity. That's why I say you have to be so clear and firm on your identity in Christ and who you're called to be. And then you need to be clear on what your motives and values are, be in alignment with those so that anybody who tries to attack you, anybody who tries to offend you or say things to you that you can walk forward. I, this is something I learned really well from being in the Radiant Leadership Academy, that you can walk forward then being that unoffendable leader. That it's not really going to matter what someone says or tries to put on you because you know who you are and you know why you're showing up and you know the impact and the value that you have and that you're creating. And so you've got to be able to then basically kind of deflect those, right? Resist the enemy and he must flee from you and walk in that faith and walk in that boldness. Be And one of the things that I thought was really neat, I asked yesterday on my um, on my wall, like wanted to hear what were people's words for the year. So if you didn't get a chance, I'd love to hear what your word, word or words or phrase. I see Candace. Hey, Candace. I, she had like a, I think you were one that had like a whole phrase, um, which was really amazing. And the Lord gave me two words, which actually for me turned into a phrase, which was abide and capable. And he was telling me that if you abide in me, then you are capable through me, your cable, your capacity to grow is so much better and stronger because you're abiding in me. I had other women that a lot of women were talking about same thing, abide, presence, harvest. Those were very common ones that were coming up victorious. And I just think that that is so amazing because that to me gives confirmation that the Lord is speaking to his daughters and saying, look, this is your time. He's saying the harvest is plentiful but the workers are few and I need more workers. He's calling you and me out. He's saying, look, I'm calling you to rise and lead, to be bold, to come and get the harvest. It's here for you. I've put these dreams and desires on your heart. I've called you to lead. I've called you to create wealth because I have plans and a purpose for you for a future and a hope. And I need you to walk in that calling. But if you keep allowing your limitations or your past difficulties, to keep being excuses for yourself, you're not going to get to where I need you to go. And I'm going to have to go call someone else until you're ready. So uh, many of us, I feel like have been in this preparation season. And he kept telling me and reminding me, don't despise your season of preparation. But now I believe we've walked into this new year. And there's even been so much prophetic word spoken over this year. And for women in the marketplace that now here we are, we're called to go out, go make disciples, right? Go create that kingdom impact. And how, if we're, when we're called into the marketplace, I fully believe it's through our business. Like we are meant to, because not everybody, side note, <laughs> if you haven't figured this out yet, this is why you get no's in your business because not everybody is actually called to be an entrepreneur. Not everybody is called to build a business. It's a special thing. It's an anointing and an appointing for you to be like, I know I'm made for more. I know I can lead. I know I can impact. I know there's more than just this traditional life style. God has this abundance, like we are to live in the abundant kingdom, right? And bring kingdom down on earth. And so you are special, like you are anointed and now you're appointed calling like time is, is coming. Like God's been preparing you. And now if you know, you have that stirring, 
in your heart. I love my friend Lene says, let that nudge be your budge that, okay, it's time to get serious. It's time to really start stepping into that. So how do we do that? Right. How do we walk through and get out of being afraid of the nose, being afraid of what other people think, not feeling good enough, maybe afraid of being too loud or outspoken. What are people going to say or think? Are they going to, you know, are they going to put, like I said, judgments on you? Are you afraid of those things? Are you afraid of getting lost in the pursuit of money or saying the wrong thing, working too hard? Tell me, what are some of those fears you have? I know for me, I was, a, I had come kind of, I'm a very ambitious woman. It hails ambitious. So ambitious kingdom women here. So we got to channel that energy very effectively, right? And efficiently, because sometimes it's easy to just go, 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 right? And so I know I was afraid of being lost in the hustle and grind and of the hard work a little bit. Like I didn't want to be working so much and then just getting lost in it all and then feeling the anxiousness and all the things, right? So I held back a little bit and the Lord is saying like, no, I called you to go. I've given you these ambitions, but use it effectively. Instead of thinking that I have to be hustle and grind and work, 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 right? It's no, it's actually working with changing that mindset. He says, renew your mind daily, right? Do not conform to the patterns of this world. So we don't conform to how everybody else is trying to build their business and work. We do it in alignment with what Holy, like that Holy Spirit power, what God says. And he says, you build with excellence. He says, you build with stewardship. He says, you build with diligence. He says that you walk with me, you do your part, right? But you leave the results up to me. And so I love this. Let me see if I can find it. Cause I think I wrote it down. What does diligent mean, right? What does it mean to be diligent in your work with God? It means to be steady, to be earnest, careful, and enter and put it forth energetic effort. So I love that because right. Steady is that consistency. Are you truly consistent in your business? and in your habits and your routines, where do you need to improve so that you can continue developing as a leader? Because sometimes we don't show up boldly because we know there's things going on in the background of our life that maybe isn't all together. And so you're feeling maybe ashamed about different areas in your life, whether it's your health, your marriage, like community, like whatever those things are. I know for me at one point it was, you know, here I was leading and growing and growing a team, developing like other women as leaders, I could show up as my authentic self and my best self online, but then I was struggling with my communication and how my husband and I were like in our marriage. And so then I was feeling like I was the, you know, two different person people at one point, because I was trying to deal with this and also be this. So it actually required me to do internal work and actually work through those things that I knew I needed to get my character aligned in all areas of my life. I knew I needed to develop that consistency, that stewardship, not just with my business, but also with my health, also with my finances, right? If I knew God called me to create wealth, then do I know where my money is? Do I know what I'm spending it on? Do I have my money and finances organized so that I'm prepared for the more that he wants to give me? If I know I'm called to lead, am I developing myself as a leader? I cannot take people any further than I have gone myself. So we have to go there first and then take people with us. So if you know you're meant to lead, are you developing yourself as a leader? That's why I've been through the Radiant Leadership Academy four times so that I can continue up-leveling myself and be as prepared as possible to help other women get to where they need to be, where God is calling them to be, that I know I can develop them as leaders. So it's figuring out where are those gaps and how can I work to now be diligent and excellent and steward in all those areas, right? And you can start with one at a time. The Lord will tell you where to start with. The other thing you want to do is start having business meetings with God, right? Spending your first 20 minutes to an hour every day with God is the best. But if you can't even do it first thing in the morning, like making sure you're setting aside time with him daily, what is that going to look like for you? Sometimes it might be you're in praise and worship. Sometimes that is in prayer. Sometimes that is reading the Bible. I mean, really it's all of the above to me and it's earnestly seeking him. It's asking him, okay, Lord, here's what I'm thinking. What do you think? And then allowing yourself to actually have the time to listen and, and hear from him as well. But what I love is that we have Holy spirit dwelling within us. So we get to commune with him all day long. 
through every situation before any phone call you do, before any reach outs you do, before any friend requests you do, that you are talking with him. You're asking him to reveal those women, those people to you that you know you can impact. You're asking him to bring the harvest to you that you know you can serve. But here's the thing. You have to be someone who's showing up in order for him to bring people to you. If you're not showing up and rising up as that leader, stepping forward, putting yourself out there, speaking value, teaching, leading, he won't have, you know, there's nothing he can bring to you, right? People aren't going to know you. So it's also allowing yourself to be out there so you can develop and really build that know, like, and trust and the online presence and build your influence with others. Then the other things you want to do is align yourself with his thoughts, right? And align yourself with his truth, his truth about you. Practice then gratitude. I love this. That one of the, one of the women was just talking to you, um, saying how she starts her business meetings in gratitude and her prayers, right? It says pray continuously without ceasing, but prayer with Thanksgiving, right? And so actually starting those prayers, sometimes it's easy to kind of have that to do like, Hey, Lord, help me with these things, but we haven't gone into gratitude yet. So I want to encourage you. That's something I want to work on is actually to going into gratitude first, then presenting my request to him and knowing that when we present our and make our request to him and they're in alignment, like we know that we can receive from him. And then this is the, the last one that can help you is surrender your daily to-do list. This is probably the hardest one for me. I'm very, someone who loves to plan ahead plan my days before they begin. I can wake up. I can look at my calendar, which is important, right? Planning time blocking is so key to help you be able to show up consistently, to help you to steward effectively, to help you to lead well, right? To lead yourself well, to lead others well. But that surrendering your to-do list, realizing that, hey, Lord, this is what I'm thinking for the day. This is my plans for the day, but I want you to show me where you want me to put my focus going back to what I shared earlier. So abiding in him, seeking him first, then you will be capable and he'll show you where to put your efforts. For example, today, I had about five different things on my list that I wanted to do before three o'clock. I have not been feeling well the last few weeks. I've not been sleeping well. I got up, allowed myself to sleep until nine. Guess what? I was ready for a nap by like 11 a.m. After I spent some morning time with the Lord, I was completely like falling asleep while I was reading. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to lay down. I'm going to take a nap. And now I feel great. I've got dishes done. I'm going live. I've done some things in my business. So you need to allow him. And it was really neat because one of the things that today, two things I've been struggling with rest and anxiety. And guess what? what I was reading about today that he had me, I have different devotional books and I'm also reading grace over grind by Shay Bynes. And then in scripture, and guess what the topics were about? They're about anxiousness and rest. I was like, Lord, I love you. Thank you so much because you're confirming for me what I know is true, but you're reminding me that I can rest in you, that I can surrender to you, that I don't have to do everything every day, all the time, right? So really what he wants is you just to commune with him, to partner with him. But I'm also believe that he wants you to not be afraid to be your ambitious self, not be afraid to walk confidently, Walk forward in your faith, take action boldly daily. That's what I want more Christian women to do. I want you to go and not let other people try and make you feel ashamed or try and make you feel bad about what you're doing. I don't want the enemy lies to keep creeping in and holding you back. This is your year. This is your time to live unashamed, to walk forward as that fearless faith influencer and world changer that you are so that you can pursue your God-sized dreams and rise to your purpose. So I have two resources for you that are gonna help you with more of these. The two resources you have, that was so cool. Did you guys just see those balloons? <laughs> or was that just me? <laughs> All these balloons just came up. I don't know why, but thank you for those, however that happened. So two resources, resources for you that are gonna help you. First one, it is called the Sacred 60. So Sacred 60, we have over a thousand women taking part in this right now. It think of like 75 hard, but kingdom, right? This is going to help you for those of you who need to develop and establish your routines, your habits, to get clarity around your goals and your vision to have accountability and kingdom mind and mentorship. You're going to want to be a part of the sacred 60. This is free. You get a workbook that will walk you through. There um, are six categories. We really 
uh, we'll be focusing on, which is a lot on like your faith, your health, your finances, your businessy, building your legacy. So we have a legacy hour built into that because we want to help you to establish and build your legacy for your future and really know what it is you want and start going there, start pursuing that with God. And so Sacred Six is going to be amazing. You're going to have an incredible group of women to get to do it with. So you're not doing it alone, but it is self-paced, self-motivated. So drop 60 if you would like the Sacred 60 details and get your free workbook get into our accountability group and be a part of all the fun that's happening there and really go into this new year running, right? Running with that boldness and that persistency. Then the second thing, this is for you ladies who, like I said at the beginning, you know you're meant to lead, you know you are meant to serve, you know you are to, you even have ambitions to be top of a company. You have ambition to speak, to lead, to develop yourself from the inside out. You know you're meant to create wealth and you're ready for that. And what you want that mentorship, well, we have an incredible opportunity with our company, Girl Power Alliance, we have launched within the last, in 2022, we launched an ambassador program, an ambassador program for women who want to not only develop themselves personally, spiritually, professionally, and as a leader. So we have Christ Center resources for women and we have coaching courses, certifications. So women get to come and be a part of that community and really be equipped in their calling and really have that mentorship that they need to continue to walk forward and where they're being led. But then we launched the ambassador program one, well, several different reasons, but we had a lot of women asking, can we have an ambassador program? So we were able to put that together. And now we are opening the doors for women to become founding ambassadors. This means you have a prestigious title, first of all, to be a founding ambassador. You're helping to, we, we've laid the foundation and now you're a pioneer. You are a woman who's saying, I want to come and grow this organization and this company. We're already global. We're in several countries. We are a digital online virtual franchise done for you. Uh, you have everything already there for you um, that you would need. You don't have to create any of the marketing, any of the funnels, like everything's there. You just get to lead and share and promote authentically. And I'm personally going to be coaching and leading along with our co-founder, Molly and our founder, Michelle Schaefer. And then also we have a great, uh, incredible, um, just end top industry leaders that are here helping women to develop as leaders that you will get to work with. But I'd personally be um, working alongside of you and we're gonna help you step into that founding ambassador for these next nine months where you get to come and you would get to, if you wanna pursue that route to be a top, you have the opportunity to be a top leader in the company you have the opportunity to work closely with corporate and our founders. You are going to then also would earn a monthly residual passive leadership bonus on top of all your other commissions. We have six different ways that we also pay out here. And for you to teach you how to build that residual life, to build your legacy, as you see here on my sweatshirt. And we have so many incredible ways for them to come here and get involved. But the ambassador program is something I'm very passionate about because it's allowing women to not only grow themselves to really become the woman that they are called to be. I love Jesse Bowen says, become the woman that your desired results require, right? You, you're you going to have everything you need to do that. But then now we're helping women walk in and step into that financial freedom, whatever that might look like for you. But for those, that, like I said, you know, you know, you're meant to create wealth. This is the vehicle for us. This is a lot my husband for me to fund his dreams and his product film production company. It's allowed us to pay off several medical bills for our fertility journey. It is allowing us to be able to work towards building our dream home and moving back where our families are. It's building that legacy. It's allowing us to give generously. What is it that you want? What has God placed on your heart? What is that vehicle that's going to allow you to get there? You know, for me, I was with a company for seven years and he had called me to walk away from that. And that was really hard for me. Any of you have been called to let go of something, drop, let go. If you relate. There's been something that, that you have been part of and super bittersweet. And it's a challenge to let go of things. And he called me to let go. And I was like, why Lord? Like I thought you, you put us to all these dreams and desires on my heart. And he said, don't despise your season of preparation. So I don't know where you're at. I would love to talk with you more. I would love to hear more about your dreams and goals and desires. 
But if you are looking for a vehicle or you're looking for a way to diversify your income and add an income stream to what you're doing so that you have the opportunity to pursue those things that God has placed on your heart. And you're looking for not only growing yourself, but you want to help grow and develop others. And you want to get paid for doing that. GPA is the place for you. And we are looking for women who are wanting to lead and become a founding ambassador. And we're going to personally be working with you over these next nine months. And obviously beyond that, but really strategically these next nine months. So you can become a founding ambassador, be a top leader in the company. You have be a pioneer here to have say in what it is we do to be a part of future leadership summits to have that leadership monthly bonus and help you really create the business that you love and a business that's in alignment with you where we keep Christ at the center of everything we do. So if that sounds like you drop founder, and I would love to connect with you and share more about what this would look like and how you can get involved here. So with that, go walk forward in faith with that kingdom mentality, build unashamed and ladies rise to your purpose. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. We would love to hear from you. So please share your takeaways by tagging at live victorious over on Instagram and leave a review. This will help us get more visibility and reach more women like you for the kingdom. We appreciate you and are praying for you as you shine your light in the business world and rise to your purpose.